Hey, what's going on, guys? So, <clears throat> so let's talk about mentorship, right? So, you know, sometimes as a business owner, you can get overwhelmed, frantic, you know, just scatterbrained, confused, whatever the case. But, um, you know, I'm learning because you, you already know we don't know the answers to every single thing like we want to. But guys, it's so important to have mentors in your life. And I mean mentors for every area. You know, in my case, you know, I started my accounting career down in Valdosta under a CPA firm. It's a small CPA firm, but the guy was well respected. His name is Nick Valenti. If you're in Valdosta, shout out to Nick Valenti and Valenti Rackley and Associates. But anyway, he gave me a shot and I've always been so thankful and blessed that he did that. And so, like I've, you know, stated before, I would have never known that I would have started my own accounting company, right? Um, I always thought I was going to work in private and move up and probably get to, like, controller level and be perfectly happy. But, you know, now that I'm on this path that I feel like, you know, God has really pushed me to, sometimes, man, you, you know, you're like, oh, what should I do? How do I come up with this? What should I make as a process for that? And a lot of these things I'm thinking like, okay, wow, how did we handle it here? You know, what were our process? How do we address customers? How do we build books? How did we communicate with clients? And how do we make notes? How was our process for keeping documentation? And a lot of that comes from being up under good leaders and good mentors. And that's why I know in a lot of my videos, I stress the importance of being a great leader, a, a great mentor in your field, um, teaching and not teaching, but treating people with kindness. Um, you know, don't burn bridges because you never know who you'll need, you know. And it was just so cool for me today to be able to reach back out to him and, you know, just chop it up with him as a business owner and say, you know, hey, you know, what do you think about this? And he's like, well, hey, this is how we do it. Oh, well, OK, if I did it, I'd do it like this. Well, no, OK, I'm thinking about it like this. You don't want to do this, this and that. Right. So it's so important to have mentors. Get you um, people who have been where you are trying to go, who are currently doing what you are trying to do to that level of greatness that you want to be performing at. Because, man, they have so many different tips and so much wisdom to give. And you do yourself almost a disservice not reaching back out to them, especially, you know, if you didn't burn any bridges, like, Hey, it's, it feels so great to know that I can call him, um, send him a text, send him an email, and him or any of the people that I work with would happily reach out and give me some advice or I can share an idea with and we can bounce ideas back and forth. You know, I may come up with a promotion and say, hey, what do you think about this? Yeah, in my experience, though, they're probably going to ask for this, too. So what are you going to say about that? Right. So, guys mentorship there's so much power in that and i as a business owner if you're trying to start a business you have to get one you have to have several you may have somebody who's a general business person right somebody that may not be in your field like i'm in accounting so maybe they own a restaurant company right or something like that but business is business so hey that's just regular wisdom but hey Get somebody that's in your field, you know, somebody in my case that would be an accountant that's done it for a while because then I can talk accountant speak and do all of that as well. So, guys, I just really want to stress the importance of get you a mentor, you know, cultivate relationships, leave places um, in good standing. Don't burn bridges because you never know these same people in my case, eight years down the line are the same people that you may need to lean on sometimes when you get confused or you need to rebuild a process or you have some ideas and you just want to bounce them off somebody credible, right? Remember, the people that we surround ourselves with are going to play a part in determining how far we'll go. If you're always around small-minded people and people who complain and people who act like, you know, they just can't, then eventually that's what you're going to be. Or you can surround yourself with people who are constantly and consistently moving forward. They're making moves. They're, you know, getting out there. They're grinding. They're hungry. They're trying to grow their business, grow their foundation. They're always trying to learn and become better. These are the people you have to surround yourself with. Colleagues can be mentors as well. But guys, get you a mentor. Make it happen. 
And as always, you know, I'm I'm always going to say that it's always my goal to be transparent. If I can help somebody out by, you know, allowing them to skip some pitfalls or mistakes that I made, I'm always going to be willing to do it. You know, I'm very comfortable and self-aware with myself and who I am to be able to say, hey, if it helps one person, two people, ten people, I'm good, you know. So that's today's lesson, guys. Do not um, minimize the value of having a great mentor that you can go to. Not necessarily because something bad, but sometimes just somebody who can pour into you, give you ideas that you feel comfortable being open and talking with. All right. I hope you guys have a great rest of the week. Stay productive. Get some things done. Refocus if necessary. And go attack it. All right, guys.